The Bible in 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This scripture is a powerful reminder of the paradoxical truth of the Christian life, in our weakness, we find true strength through Christ. When we feel most vulnerable, that is when God's power can shine most brightly in us. Let's break down this passage and understand how we can apply it to our lives. Paul begins by recounting the words of Christ, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. This statement alone is profound. It tells us that God's grace is more than enough for us in every situation. We do not need to rely on our own strength because God's power is perfected in our weakness. What an incredible truth! Instead of striving to be strong on our own, we can rest in the sufficiency of God's grace. Paul then goes on to say, Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Here, Paul turns the world's understanding of strength and weakness upside down. He chooses to boast in his weaknesses, not because he enjoys suffering, but because he knows that through his weaknesses, Christ's power is most evident. Finally, Paul concludes with a statement that challenges our natural way of thinking, for when I am weak, then I am strong. This is a declaration of faith, a recognition that true strength comes not from ourselves, but from the power of Christ working within us. As believers, we need to realize that we cannot overcome everything that comes our way without the help of the Lord. Life often presents us with challenges that drain our energy and strength. We encounter pain, heartache, and circumstances that can cause us to ask difficult questions. It is in these moments that we must fall into the arms of our Heavenly Father, relying on His strength and comfort. Without the strength and comfort of the Holy Spirit, the pain will always be too much. Without the hope, faith, and knowledge of knowing that Jesus Christ has conquered the grave, we will be overwhelmed by the challenges of life. But with God, all things are possible. The Bible tells us in Psalm 125 verse 1, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved but abides forever. Mount Zion, throughout history, has been an important spiritual and historical landmark for Israel. It symbolizes stability, strength, and permanence. When the Bible likens those who trust in God to Mount Zion, it emphasizes the unshakable nature of those who place their trust in the Lord. This is a powerful reminder that anything else we put our trust in will eventually let us down. Only Jesus Christ is a firm foundation. He alone is our peace and comfort. Our God operates without limitations. He has power and authority over all creation. He created the heavens and the earth, parted the Red Sea, commanded nature to obey him, and shut the mouths of lions. The Lord commanded a great fish to swallow Jonah and keep him unharmed, and it obeyed. No force, no person, no circumstance can stand against the power of our Almighty God. As Romans 8 verse 31 declares, what then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? When we face mountains that seem too daunting to climb, we must remember that our God can move mountains. He can part seas, speak to nature, and shut the mouths of lions. Psalm 145 verses 8 to 9 says, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. Our God works beyond the limitations of man. So be encouraged, and call on the Lord for strength when you need it most. Prayer for Strength in Weakness Dear Lord Jesus, 
I come before you today acknowledging my weaknesses. I admit that there are times when I feel overwhelmed, times when I lack the strength to carry on. But I thank you, Lord, that your grace is sufficient for me. Your power is made perfect in my weakness. I rejoice in this truth, for I know that I am not alone. You are with me, and your strength is my strength. Father, your word tells me in Isaiah 40 verse 29, He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might he increases strength. I ask you to give me strength in my moments of weakness. When I feel weighed down by the cares of life, be my strength. When I am crushed by my troubles, lift me up, Lord. Strengthen me to stand firm when my faith is wavering. Remind me, Holy Spirit, that your strength is made perfect when all of mine is gone. Equip me, Lord, to handle all of life's difficulties. I declare that I am strong in you and with you, King Jesus. I can only overcome because of you. Strengthen my faith, Lord, for your word tells me in Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I believe that through you, I will have victory in every area of my life. Through you, I will have the strength to stand. Lord, I believe in your wonder-working power. I believe that the blood of Jesus Christ still has power today, the power to deliver, to protect, to heal, and to defend me and my family from the enemy. Strengthen me, Father, and help me to become a believer who is fearless and bold because of you. When voices of doubt and fear attempt to drown my faith, remind me that your grace is sufficient and your strength is made perfect in my weakness. Your word in Psalm 46 verse 1 reminds me that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Thank you, Lord, for always being there for me. I praise you for your consistency, for time and time again, you have provided me with all that I need to keep standing in faith. You have been faithful to deliver me from all my cares and troubles. In Matthew 7 verses 24 to 27, the Bible says, Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and great was the fall of it. Lord, if we build our lives on your words, our house will not fall. Our faith will not fail us. When the rains of life come, we will not be swept away. When the floods of life come, we will stand strong and stand in faith. We will not be shaken when the winds of life blow because we are standing on the rock of ages, Jesus Christ. May your name be praised, Lord. May you be glorified and honored. Forgive us if we have ever doubted your word, even for a moment. Forgive us, Lord, for misplaced trust when we have trusted in people or things instead of you. I pray that the Holy Spirit would be our guide. May the Holy Spirit teach us how to trust in you. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would be the strong voice of conviction in our hearts so that whenever we are confronted by doubt, fear, or anxiety, we are reminded of what the Word of God says. Whenever we feel weak, whenever we feel overwhelmed, may the Spirit of the living God remind us of His Word. Lord, you are worthy to be praised because you have never been defeated. You have never lost a battle, and the victory belongs to you, Jesus. May your name be lifted high always. I thank you for your goodness. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Take a time to have a reflection on the passage. This passage from 2 Corinthians challenges us to rethink our understanding of strength and weakness. In a world that prizes self-sufficiency and power, the Bible tells us that true strength comes from acknowledging our weaknesses and relying on Christ. 
When we are weak, then we are strong, not because of our own abilities, but because of the power of God working in and through us. As we face the challenges of life, let us remember that God's grace is sufficient for us. We do not need to fear our weaknesses, for they are the very places where God's power can be most clearly seen. Whether we are facing insults, hardships, persecutions, or difficulties, we can take comfort in knowing that Christ's power rests on us. In our weakest moments, God's strength is perfected in us. If this message has touched your heart and uplifted your spirit, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the areas in your life where you need to rely more on God's strength. Remember that His grace is sufficient for you, and His power is made perfect in your weakness. Embrace your need for God, and let His strength carry you through every challenge. As you continue to grow in your faith and walk with God, I invite you to explore more content on this channel. There are many more prayers, 